Hi, this is Tracy H.D. and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily energy and guidance oracle card reading. And we're going to be using, as we have been for the last couple weeks, the Oracle of the Fairies by Karen Kay. And let's get started with the reading. Now, this is considered a timeless reading as far as I'm concerned, even though today is February the 1st. Whenever this reading reaches you is when it's meant to be, and we already have had a jumping card, so we'll take that one. You can also use this reading as a pick a card, card one, two, or three, or a blended reading, which will be all three cards for the day into one reading. Can angels, light beings, and God please relay the message I need to relay to my viewers the highest good of all. We already have this card here for card one, which is a jumper. Card two. And card three. Okay, first card one, the jumping card. Ooh, no wonder why it was a jumper. It's a rabbit. <laughs> I usually have a lot of rabbits in my yard jumping around. So how uh, synchronized is that? We have this beautiful fairy and this rabbit and we have these mushrooms surrounding them and the card says journey it's time to prepare for a journey it may be impromptu or planned either way make sure you're ready when the time comes pack your passport now what i get from spirit is well for some of you it may very well be a trip some of you may be going on a journey of some type, you know, physically, by plane, maybe by boat, by train. To me, this is a spiritual journey. I'm thinking this is moving into a new phase of our spiritual path, uh, a new leg of the journey, so to say. That's what I'm getting from this card. But like I said, for some of you, this may mean that you actually are going on a trip. Uh, maybe something that's planned or impromptu or just spur the moment. An opportunity, you know, falls in your lap to go somewhere, maybe somewhere you've always wanted to go. And you may go there and it may inspire you on your path. So it could be that or it could be a journey of your self, self-realization, self-mastery, a spiritual journey. And then card number two is wish wisely. And we've had this card before. I know we have. It was last week. And the card says, use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. So this falls again into the positive thinking category. We all know we can't just sit here and uh, recite affirmations all day long and think that some magic wand is going to wave over us and things are going to change or things are going to come to us. We have to state what we want, put it out into the universe and back it up with positive action. Now, you might not have a grand plan planned out already for how you're going to put your heart's desire into motion, but just taking baby steps each day. At the end of the week, that adds up to something. At the end of the month, it adds up to quite a lot. And at the end of the year, you'd be amazed how far uh, you've come and how much you've done to put your plan into motion. And it's saying to use your wishes wisely. So, you know, think about what you truly, truly want. And if it's true to you and who you are, don't just do something in order for other people to approve or for other people to accept you. Do what it feels, do what feels right. Live your truth. Okay. It says take practical steps. So if it's writing a book, maybe start doing an outline. If it's maybe becoming a, a Reiki healer, Maybe sign up for some classes um, or whatever other field. Maybe go and get some books on it. Do some research, you know, over the Internet. Whatever it is, take some steps. And then the last card is number three. Here we go again. We have transformation. Now you've seen me shuffle the cards. And I shuffled the cards before I even started yesterday to make sure they were shuffled well. And then, of course, I shuffled on camera. And then, of course, today you always see me shuffling. I never pre-select cards. And this transformation card, 
And this has got to be the fourth or fifth time we're seeing this. So this needs to be emphasized. And if you're watching this video right now, you are transforming. You are meant to get this message. That's why this video has found you. And of course, again, the card reads, this fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. And what I'm getting right now, it's coming through loud and clear, is do not resist the changes, okay? Although they're very painful changes, although we may feel fearful because we don't know what's going to happen next, we don't know what the future holds, just embrace what's going on in your life. You don't have to understand why. Trust me, it's all in divine timing and divine order. And sometimes when bad things happen, it's truly a blessing in disguise. Believe me, I could speak from personal experience that a lot of things that didn't work out for me ended up for my highest good. So we're all going through this transformation. You know, we're all in this together. Nobody out there could say that their life is perfect. Even if you do the right thing and say the right thing, things are going to happen. Okay, if we didn't have the bad times, we wouldn't realize how good the good times feel. So the word today is embrace. Embrace the transformation. Don't resist it. Don't fear it. And don't wish that it wasn't happening to you. Because every time we go through these life's challenges and experiences, it makes us stronger. It helps us gain wisdom. And it pushes us further along our spiritual path. What a beautiful reading today. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.